Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you had a great weekend. We've actually had the markets pretty flat today, um, except for small caps that came off a lot, which I'll get to in a bit. So you can see the SPX actually gapped up to 40.55. We got up to 40.78 thereabouts, and then rolled over after lunchtime. Uh, same with uh, NASDAQ, um, but smalls today uh, just sold off hard the whole day apart from a little pop at the end um, they were down much bigger than the markets let's just go over look at the heat map today to see what's happening so a bit of red out there a bit of green pretty mixed uh, day with breadth we did have some big financial stocks up apple's up on an upgrade google had a nice little pop um, exxon chevron they're up but we had materials come off uh, a bit of cyclical come off and the semis came off a little bit as well. Not much out on economic data today. We do have um, Fed Chair Powell uh, testimony on uh, Congress tomorrow and again on uh, Wednesday. So the market will be looking to see his commentary to see if he's going to uh, keep going with more hawkish tone or maybe pull him back on a dovish tone. So I suspect he'll uh, keep uh, with his hawkish tone because um, jobs market's tight, uh, stock markets are healthy, so he has permission to keep going with rate hikes. Um, fear and greed still in this neutral zone, 54. Market just trying to trade in pretty quiet here. Um, we can see here in the most active options that we've got IV ranks. Apple 16%, Tesla 25%, Nvidia 11%, Amazon 21%. So pretty low um, volatility compared to the last year. However, what I thought was interesting is look at this. We've just got um, Friday uh, data come through for insider sales and that just jumped to a new high um, for the last year. So corporate insiders, which typ typically do a great job at uh, making contrarian moves, you know, time in the tops and bottoms, if not contributing to them, um, sold a record, record amount of stock on Friday. So that is bearish for the stock market. Dark index as well has rolled over. Um, so the amount of institutional uh, traders that trade in dark pools, uh, their buying level has rolled over a bit. Interesting graphic I thought I'd show you today is um, peak to trough declines in historical bear markets. So you can see um, down here is the days of a typical bear market. So you see most bear markets finish around 200, 300 or so days. They can go on 400 days. And um, we can see what how back here in 31, 32, how fast and hard a decline that was after the crash in 29, 31. There was a lot of hard selling um, there. 2002 one had already uh, dipped. Uh, GFC 0708 was just about over, hitting the bottom uh, for the same length we are in now in the uh, 2022 uh, bear market. However, it does look to be similar to other bear markets we've seen that kind of uh, paused, um, you know, half halfway, two thirds of the way through, and then that last leg was quite vicious like, that we often see at the end of bull and bear markets, the most crazy extreme moves in the least amount of time. So you look at the 73, 74 bull market, um, that sold off really hard towards the end. So the market is in a really kind of neutral, tricky spot now. It's There's there's indicators that say we've put in the bottom on the October 13 big um, bullish engulfing candle. And there's plenty of uh, data and indicators that say, no, we, we haven't. We should be going lower, especially with the record in, inverted uh, bond yield curve that actually made new lows today so if we are going to see a final leg lower it could happen very quickly and very fast so that's where past uh, bear markets have looked like um, so this is definitely not out of the woods uh, yet and here's another graphic kind of opposite if we did if October um, was the low um, on the 12th of October, and we are in a new uh, bull market. This is a uh, chart of previous mark gains off the final bear market low. And you can see this green one here up in 62, ripping higher, uh, 57. 
So if this was the start of a new bull market, it's looking pretty soft, you know, down towards, you know, about the fourth or so uh, least strongest recovery. So trading pretty soft week there if it, that was the low. Okay, so back over to the charts. Uh, let's just switch over to a daily today. So, okay, so we put in this little bit of a topping pattern in the markets today, just above their 50 bar VWAP. But I'll get back to that at the end of the video uh, today, like I always do. But uh, look at the pattern in mid caps and small caps. Uh, there's a bit of a bearish uh, reversal here back to under the 50 bar. So that was a bit interesting. Um, Canada just sitting up there as well. FTSE kind of consolidating. Euro stocks consolidating at the top of its range. Same with the DAX actually broke out a little bit. Nikkei put in a little bit of a topping pattern at this resistance zone. ASX 200 looks to be having a bit of a pullback. And China as well consolidating under its 50 bar VWAP. Moving on today, and what was interesting is volatility. Look at volatility nine day right at the front, jumped 10% today. So even though we had the market basically flat except for smalls, there was actually a bit of, bit of movement under the hood. Um, there's quite a few stocks made some large moves today. And this is why we've seen this um, bit of a jump right at the front in volatility. Although VIX is still at an 18 handle, so we weren't, weren't able to get above uh, 20 on VIX. So volatility is still very depressed down here as we have been for months now. Uh, we just have not had a decent upswing in volatility. Same with underlying volatility in the actual market. I'm tracking at an annualized rate of 15%, which is very low. And volatility of volatility is low. So there's not much movement in the market out there. Um, put call ratio jumped a little bit uh, today. Breadth data hasn't come in yet uh, for today. Spreads of growth versus cyclical. We can see here all well, the uh, cyclical sectors versus defensive sectors have kind of just topped out a little bit. Um, seem to be putting in a bit of a, a roof formation here. Uh, maybe a little bit of top that it's got to work through. So um, same with high better versus low volatility, consolidating growth versus value. It's kind of just stalled out on this growth rotation trade. That's kind of been the theme of this year. but. Look at the yield curve. We just hit new lows today. So record new lows on the 10 year versus the two year. So the bond market's saying for sure we're getting a recession. And this is at a time where equity market valuations relative uh, to bonds has been some of the worst in decades. And we've got increasing rates. So that's, that's not good uh, for the market going forward. And the two year actually um, bounced a bit today back up to 489 and the 10 year as well uh, we came down to about 390 and just bounced off it so there's definitely bids there and these this rates market is holding for sure up here and we can see that in fed fund futures as well actually jumped up a bit there in uh, june and september so we're just not having a pullback this market is trading very strong and December as well. So rates are just holding up here. They don't look to be pulling back uh, yet, just consolidating. High yield uh, that we always like to watch is sitting on just above its trend line here, um, but just kind of in this holding pattern and not doing much. Dollar did have a little bit of a pullback. Um, do have this resistance zone here, but it does seem to be holding uh, as well a um, little bit of a dip by there and we'll just see if this can consolidate up here Bitcoin and Ethereum looks to be doing a bit of a bear flag underneath their 50 bar VWAPs so that to me looks like a bit of a bearish um, price action in the crypto space commodities came off a little bit today just holding this trend line here in the overall commodity index Copper just sitting there as well. Gold came off a little bit. Natty gas, volatile as always. Um, down 12% today. Ouch for those who are long. So once again, this is just a crazy asset, Natty gas to trade. Um, moving on to stock sectors. So just going through 
quite a bit of red out there today. Retail was off the most at 2.1, pretty bearish price action there. We also had Biotech off 1.7% today. Um, oil and gas off almost 2%. Same with the gold miners. Industrials and defense stocks look to be holding the best out of all the sectors. Had home builders come off a bit. And staples and utilities, defensive sectors managed to hold up a little bit and healthcare was flat as well. BlackRock Barometer came off 1%. Apple had a nice little pop today on an analyst upgrade, but rejected off this resistance zone here. Um, one, two, three, wick, inverted hammer. So I still, I think this is just still trading really thick in the middle of its range. Um, I wouldn't get too excited about Apple here. Microsoft had a little pop. Amazon came off. If you saw the channel yesterday, I did a deep dive into Amazon. And um, go check it out. I think you'll find it interesting, um, the conclusion I came to with Amazon stock and where I think it's going. Google had a nice little pop today. The biggest, uh, apart from Apple, um, did really well compared to other uh, large cap tech stocks. Um, had semis come off. I still think NVIDIA here could be putting in a bit of a top. Um, we still have the price target a lot lower at 141 on NVIDIA. Um, but we're just going to see how much further this AI hype train can go. Wouldn't be surprised if it goes a little further. But we're still quite elevated here. You can see the distance from the means 22% above the 50 bar and putting in a bit of a divergence as well. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Netflix just can't find a bottom, trading really weak. Tesla was off 2%. Um, this still looks weak to me. Uh, it's got so much overhead resistance to get through after this huge 120% run. If we do a Fibonacci um, on this move from earnings, we can still see it made that 50% retracement popped back up but I think we could come back down here to the golden pocket between 0.61 and 0.78 um, retracement from that move from that earnings gap so I wouldn't be surprised to see Tesla trade in the 170s maybe you know later this next later this week or into next week still think it could have a bit more of a pullback into it but we'll assess that every day because as we all know things with Tesla can change very quickly Moving over to meme stocks, Silvergate off again. I think that stock's structurally broken. Coinbase, inverted hammer. Looks to be putting in a bit of a triangle here, which I think will resolve downwards, especially with the weak um, crypto price action as well. AMC down 5%, Carvana down 9%. Snap had a pretty good pop today on strong price action. So uh, lawmakers are looking to ban TikTok in America. I think you know, 100 million Americans are using TikTok. And so that's only going to help uh, Snap as they could probably take a bit of that market share and attention away from TikTok um, as uh, politically they want to get rid of it. So the Chinese don't have a big insight into Americans and their data. Other thing I wanted to just show you today is uh, truck orders, heavy truck orders. Um, this is a pretty good forecaster of economic activity and correlates pretty well with the market. We can see even going off into COVID, it was already coming off a bit and had that big bounce off COVID. But last month's uh, sales came in at 450,000, which was off 10%. You can see that big dive down. That's That's bearish. Uh, an economic indicator, kind of a leading indicator as well. And the um, liabilities in capital, uh, reserve balances with Federal Reserve Banks, that's trending down as well. If we zoom out and I just add a the SBX to this chart, it's correlated pretty well since COVID. And you can see um, here we are, it rolled over, started rolling over in December, big time, a bit before the, the stock market here in the orange line. 
and it's tracked down and correlating pretty well and we've still got uh, it trending down so about basically amount of liquidity out there and the stock market's a bit of above it bit of a gap here which I thought was interesting and this is on top of like we're starting we're getting the recipe for a recession you know not only just the inverted bond yield curve but we've got credit card debt at all time highs with rates climbing we've got personal savings rates at all times low we've got the housing market rolling over um, liquidity lower truck orders lower we've got you know this this could be the start of uh, you know a pickup towards the recession uh, in the middle of this year or later later this year so now that we've looked at all that let's go back to the overall market and see what we're thinking so SBX just under 4050 and let's just uh, dig deeper into this move so if we did a Fibonacci when we bounced on Thursday to that February 2 top done a 50% retracement today and it's bounced off it I was thinking we could get to 41 which we still could tomorrow and that 61% retracement which also coincides with previous our resistance zones but I'm still a believer thus far that this move uh, rolls over um, we're sitting right here at the 50 bar VWAP and look at the spread today between small caps and, and large caps that came off hard today look at that price action it was strong with higher highs higher lows and it just went whoop so that's not something you see in a bull market typically and rates holding strong up here as well so I came in today 20% uh, net long and could not find any more long setups today there's actually a lot of topping uh, tail setups like that in in the stock market so I managed to find a few shorts and we could be at the we could be at the end of this little pullback here I wouldn't be surprised if we go a little bit higher tomorrow before rolling over but I uh, found a bit of shorts and with small caps coming off and all those other economic indicators I managed I tilted the portfolio 80% net short which is a bit aggressive uh, into Fed chair talking tomorrow as well but um, I'm just following the charts and the price action here so my plan was always to get short back up around this level you know 4070 up to 4100 so for now I'm still uh, I'm still bearish on this price action I still think we roll over and ultimately take out this low and the trend line again but we'll see what Powell um, says tomorrow and we got jobs data out later this week too uh, jobless claims non-farm payrolls Thursday Friday so I mean power does have permission to keep his foot on the gas the markets are, are holding they're healthy jobs markets healthy um, so he does have room to keep pressing on the on the hawkish tone so but we'll see tomorrow we'll see tomorrow what he says and the price action immediately after that we'll all be watching that okay that's it for today thanks for tuning in appreciate all your support and we'll see you again tomorrow